Hello, everyone. Welcome to HiRender S3 tutorial. In this video, I will introduce how to connect master and backup server in HiRender S3. Before we add it in our software, we need to connect both master and backup server into the same network. First, right-click on the network icon at the bottom right of Task Manager and open Network and Sharing Center. Click on Change Adapter Settings and double-click on the network you will use for your master and backup server. Choose IPv4 protocol and double-click on it. Change to use the following IP address to manually set the IP address. Let's type in a new address like 192.168.1. Point one two three. The subnet mask will generate automatically. Fix the backup server in the same way, but change the last part of the IP address to another number like 124. Confirm all the adjustment. Next. We need to turn off the firewall in case any connection issue occurs. Go back to Network and Sharing Center and choose Windows Firewall. Then click on Turn Windows Firewall on or off. Turn off all the firewall. OK, let's set the backup server first. Open HiRender S3. Click on Mode. and change running mode from master to backup. We can change the saving path for the documents received from the master server. Go back to master server, click on mode, and choose the master server. Then choose select connected backup. Find the IP address for the backup server. If it didn't pop up, click on Refresh. Press OK. Then click on Connect. We'll see that the backup server will sync to master server. We can edit on master server. The backup server will also show the edited screen. Let's import some media in master server and drag them into the program. Right click on the stage area and choose update. The media that added into program will send to backup server. When the transfer finished, we can preview the program on backup server. We can edit on the backup server. However, the edit that made on master server will overwrite all the edit made on backup server. To stop connection mode, click on disconnect on the top of the stage area. The backup server will keep playing status before disconnection. That's all for the setting for master and backup server in HiRender 3. See you in next video.